right, so here I have this Amazon box. And let's see. Inside, I have this outstanding science kit. Earth science, chemistry, science, magic, and physics. It's a four-in-one with 105 different experiments. So that looks pretty fun. Looks like you can create some goo. You've got some crystals, some geodes. You can do a volcano. So anyway, um, I got this to try to get my kids a little bit more excited about science and thought this would be the perfect thing. So we'll give it a try and let you know what we think. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video. So this box is sealed in um, shrink wrapped in plastic. So I'm just gonna take that off. We're gonna see what's inside. And this does say for ages three and up. So it can be for little ones as well. Uh, here we go. Has a little carrying strap handle. So, got a nice thick instruction book with some detailed instructions and sets and steps. I'm sorry. We've got a sodium alkanate excavation tools. Looks like we got some glycerol everescent tablets, red cabbage, color agent, liquid borax. We've got some round candles, slim candle, transparent card, stir rod, syringe, aluminum sheet, push pin, paper clip, magnet, color catcher sheet, and gauze fabric. And this looks like it has some gloves, uh, sample spoon, 10 milliliter bottle, white cotton string, rubber bands, droppers, balloons, and semicircular mold. We've got some crystal growing sets here. Let's see. We've got geodes, bottle connector, memory metal, aerogel powder, fluorescent powder, magic glitter, crystal growing tree set. We've got some sand, water absorbing polymer, baking soda, citric acid, and calcium lactate. Here's our little volcano. Now I wanna show you, oops, this volcano versus the picture on the front. Definitely a little size uh, ex um, exaggeration. We've got a plastic bottle, a little measuring cup, plastic funnel, Safety goggles, always important. Looks like we've got some straws, some paints and a brush. We've got this little plastic tray with a couple of little smaller measuring cups in there. We've got some liquid borax, a paper plate. So apparently that's everything that you need to do these experiments. So once we have some time, we will go through, pick out some projects, and uh, maybe record what we're doing. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. All right, so we are now going to create a fizzy reaction. And so these are the items that you need. And so far, my daughter has gotten stuff already. Yes. Can you explain what you've so done? So I have added 50 milliliters into it and a spoonful. Which 50 milliliters of what? Water. Just, water. Just water. Okay. And I used this spoon. Uh, over, you can't see it. Yeah, this spoon right here mm -hmm. and added one of, one of that of... One spoonful of baking soda, uh -huh. and then I added some dish soap, and well, detergent, liquid detergent. Um, and mind you, that says dish detergent, not laundry detergent. There's yeah. A difference. <laughs> so she used laundry detergent. It does say dish detergent, but she doesn't know the difference apparently. So. Yeah. Okay. So let's. <laughs> um, and see I what also else. added five drops of this, and then. In this one, we added 30 milliliters of water and ceritic acid, one spoon of that, 
And what it says to do next is pour this really fast into it. So that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's see what it does. Whoa, check that out. Whoa. And that is chemistry for you. Cool. It's still going. It is still bubbling. You can see it is still bubbling. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hot water that was above 203 Fahrenheit, and it was a six milliliter. And I poured that in, and I also poured a bag of powder, which it was this, but blue. And I already poured that in. Um, it took a while to stir, but once we got it dissolved, it says to place the crystal right here, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make this right there. Yes. So let's watch what it does. So then we have to like stir it. To, like, Does it say how long it takes? Um, next few days. Oh, so we're <laughs> we're not going to be seeing anything today, sadly. But um, so it says to then place the seed rock into the water immediately and use the stir rod to adjust the position. The seed rock at the center of the bottom cup. So you need to flip it over. It yeah. needs to be on the flat side. Flip. All right, so we put it in the container and we're going to watch it grow. So once it's done growing, we'll show you what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Today we're doing the erupted volcano. So we've already put the sodium uh, no, baking soda in there? Cer ceritic acid and baking, baking soda. soda. Okay. Um, we mixed them together and then we had to add 50 milliliters of water and three drops of food coloring. We did more because it was so bright. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Erupting volcano. Whoa. <laughs> A lot of sizzle, not as much just flowing over. And that's the, well, probably the acid and the baking soda together. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. So this is the raising mushroom one. And I have added vinegar, dish soap, uh, or liquid detergent, and um, food coloring. And I, in here, I have baking soda, and it's supposed to rise once I pour it in. So. Wait, it is. Slowly, slowly but surely. What was this experiment called? Mm, rising mushroom. Rising mushroom. It's supposed to flow over. <laughs> so I don't really see it doing it. Well, I mean, there is more. <laughs> Probably failed this one. <laughs> Probably. If we were in science class. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.